Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this question, I'll be going over question 122 on SOA exam P. So I'll pause the video real quick and try to respond yourself. Okay, assuming you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So this function exists on this interval here, right? Where x is less than y, so it's like here. But anyways, it only fails because we're asked to find when expected value when the device fails, it only fails if the second one fails, right? Only when the second one fails. So they're basically asking you to find accepted value of y, where y is the second time, second circuit fails. Okay, so then this is equal to y times um, the f of y, right? The marginal distribution of y. But because they give you the f of xy, the joint distribution, we have to find the marginal distribution first. So f of y little y is equal to, by definition, it is the negative infinity to infinity of x of the f of xy dx. So what range does x exist on? Well, x exists on 0 to y, right? So that's going from 0 to y, f of xy, which is 6e to negative x, e to negative 2y, d x. So if I'm integrating respect to dx, the 6e to the negative 2y is all a constant. And then taking the integral of this, you just get the negative out front. So you get e to the negative x, integrating from 0 to y. When I put in, plug in the upper limit here of um, y, you get wait, negative e to the negative y. Minus, minus, that's positive. e to the 0 is just 1. Multiplying the 6e to negative ey, negative 2y, you get 6e to negative 2y minus 6e to the negative 3y. Okay, and then if I'm just trying to find the y, I just have to multiply y times that. So y times 6e to the negative 2y minus 6e to the negative 3y dy of this function. Where is y, what range does y exist on? y exists from 0 to, zero to infinity. 0 to infinity. All right, let's just dive right in. So this is essentially just two integrals, right? 0 to infinity, y to the 6e to the negative 2y minus 6y e to the negative 3y. And they're both integrating in terms of dy. OK. So moving on, this is just an IBP problem, integration by parts. So if you haven't watched my IBP video, I definitely think you should, where u is equal to 6y, so then du is equal to just 6, and dv is equal to e to the negative 2y, so that means v must be equal to negative 1 half e to the negative 2y. So then multiplying this way, that's going to be equal to negative 3y e to the negative 2y minus the integration of negative, the integration of 3e to the negative 2y, so it's just equal to negative 3y e to the negative 2y minus 3 halves e to the negative 2y. And then likewise, this side's going to be the same thing, Mine, but then there's a minus in the front, so that's going to be minus minus, that's positive, 2y e to the negative 2, 3y minus minus, so that's positive. 2 thirds e to the negative 2y, integrating all of this from 0 to infinity, plugging in the upper limit. Because e to the, a really big number is just all 0, so this is all 0 for the first when you plug in infinity. When I plug in 0, this term is 0. This one is going to be positive 3 half e to the, e to the 0, which is 1, minus, this term is also 0 minus two thirds. So then this is equal to five six, which is approximately equal to 0 0.833333, which is our answer D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.